Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the Consulate of Western Armenia and Argentine Republic pay tribute to President Don Ipolo Irigoyen. A memorial liturgy will be held in the Cathedral of Armenian Apostolic Church in Marcel. The USSR attempts to make its own. The territories established by the Treaty of Severs and Wilson's Arbitration Award, historian Rubel Shukhyan. More than 500 Alevi organizations supported the initiative to recognize Alevis as their face. After the fact, a general regret will be expressed. The Renaissance Festival will be organized in Stepanakert. Two churches of Western Armenia have been recreated in virtual reality. The Consulate of the Republic of Western Armenia and Argentine Republic pay tribute and place the Western Armenian flag at the monument of Don Ipulo Irigoyen as a sign of gratitude for the de jure recognition of the state of Armenia on May 3, 1920. President Irigoyen honored Armenia and Argentina by decree number 46 and today the Republic of Western Armenia honors his memory and expresses his gratitude. National Council of Western Armenia, National Association and Supporters of Armenian Veterans, Association of Armenian Veterans and French Oppositions of Armenian Origin. We have the honor to invite you to the Memorial Liturgy in memory of the fighters who died in the name of Freedom of Artsakh, which will be held on Sunday, May 8, 2022 at 11 a.m. in the Armenian Apostolic Church, address 339 Prado Avenue, Marcel. After the ceremony, there will be rest in front of the Khachkar in the main entrance of the cathedral. Then the participants will make a speech. The event will be attended by the former Chief Instructor of Liberation Army Chairman of National Council of Western Armenia, Armenak Abramian. The ceremony will be held in accordance with the protocol. Historian Ruben Shukhyan writes, a remarkable map of the territorial claims of USSR, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, to Turkey at the Second World War. It is necessary to know history comprehensively in order to be able to find a complete and objective picture of the historical realities that interest us by comparing various facts and events. On March 19, 1945, when the Nazi Party of Germany was predetermined and a Second World War in Europe was half completed, the USSR considers invalid the Soviet-Turkish Treaty, signed on December 17, 1925, which, by the way, at the same time, was the only one in this format that actually replaced the Moscow-Russian-Turkish Treaty of 1921. The official statement of the USSR stated, as a result of the same changes that took place during the Second World War, this treaty no longer corresponds to the new situation and needs serious improvement. The article is fully available on our official website. More than 500 Alevi organizations of the Turkish state and around the world supported the initiative to adopt Alevism as their own face in Austria. The joint statement reads, This decision is a great achievement for the Alevi community, whose face is being persecuted in its homeland, is considered a forbidden face, is under threat of assimilation, is subject to a state decision to participate in compulsory religious courses. The initiative organization stated that as a result of their 13-year legal struggle, the Austrian state approved this approval and accepts Alevism as a face inherent in this national minority, which they welcomed with enthusiasm. The beginning of the negotiation on a peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan in the direction in which the parties are moving still seems far away. The Azerbaijan side knows that in concluding such an agreement, the parties must recognize each other's territorial integrity, and this will be facilitated by strengthening of the Azerbaijani army. At the same time, Baku calls on the international community not to supply weapons to Armenia and demands the immediate disarmament of the defense army of unrecognized Artsakh. The Armenian authorities declare the guarantees of freedom, rights and security of the people of Artsakh are important to them. But no one seems to have thought about how the freedom, rights and security of the Armenians of Artsakh can be guaranteed according to the Azerbaijan version. Baku does not even want to revise its political vocabulary. And there are about 120,000 residents in Artsakh. Who does not want peace, but against the background of everything that is happening, it is impossible to trust the good will of Azerbaijan. The prospects for negotiation on a peace treaty between Yerevan and Baku, it was the help of the Russia, are not clear enough. Western Armenia completely rejects any concession of Artsakh to Azerbaijan. 
A festival called Renaissance will be organized in Stepanakert. This was announced by the co-organizer of the upcoming event, Arsen Abramian, stressing that the goal is to unite the youth living in Artsakh, organize an interesting pastime for the festival participants, as well as get acquainted with the Armenian historical and cultural heritage and ethnographic traditions. And why exactly the Renaissance? Since our people need unity more than ever, our history has shown that the Armenian nation celebrated victory when it came out to fight with united forces. After their recent social political events, it's time to revive, he said. The organizers of the event and representatives of the younger generation of Artsakh, who are not indifferent to the fate of their homeland and nation. Vice President of the Research in Armenian Architecture, Rafi Kortoshan, wrote on his Facebook page, Thank you to the co-founder of our Lupa software organization, Arman Tatoyan, the first result of the cooperation between our Lupa and the foundation of the study of Armenian architecture is the reconstruction of the destroyed monastery of St. Karapet and the Derik Church in a province of Hanus in Western Armenia in virtual reality, both in a book Hanus and its historical place, despite the cultures of genocide. During today's meeting, for the steps of our corporation become more concrete. Now musical part, Armenia spiritual song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.